Hi. There you are. I have the turkey roasting, and I looked up giblets on the internet. It's giblets, like gerbils. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking gimlets. Oh, man. Oh. I could really go for a gimlet right yeah. now. Say that. Hey, scratch the turkey. We took Zane to a full on American feast at their restaurant near his school, so. Oh, but we have to celebrate. Cousin Nigel told me all about Thanksgiving. I wouldn't miss it for the world. You do realize why the pilgrims had to turn to the Indians? They were gentlemen, didn't know how to farm. <laughs> we wanted to run from the mother country. Oh, and I don't blame you. Imagine going to jail for failure to pay your bills or wanting to worship the way you please, which is all the more reason to celebrate you people. You're so accepting. And, and I do love pumpkin pie. And smell that turkey. It's mouth-watering. Having one day a year when all regrets are set aside. It's brilliant. Hey. Hey. How are my uh, Jess and Bree doing? Are they still down with colds? Yeah, Lois just checked on them, and Jessica's sleeping. Bree's curled up in her lap watching Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving. <sighs> So how much money did you raise? Well, with the department sponsoring me a lot. Great. And with that DNA test that proves that Jessica's carrying my kid, seeing Ford was no big deal, I ran around that course. Why are you upset? Now that you know that John's the father, you should be thrilled. I am. No, you're not. And I know why. I'm gonna check on the girls. On Thanksgiving, greed melts like a pat of butter in a mound of smashed potatoes. Now, I never thought I'd see the day you'd run a 10K for charity. It's cardio. Now, with heart, man, we raise big bucks for the homeless. Hey, did I just hear big bucks for the homeless? Very nice. Now, what about that 50K you owe your old man? Hmm? Look at those faces. Whatever, it's Thanksgiving, huh? We settle up later. I'm gonna take a shower. Oh, where are you gonna take your father for Thanksgiving dinner, huh? And I am thinking turkey and all the trimmings. In the spirit of the pilgrims and their Native American brothers, it's a day of peace and harmony. Good thing you're here. Um, I just got a message from James asking me what he should bring for Thanksgiving dinner. That was, that was nice of him. If he were coming, which he isn't, right, Lang? Okay, so I invited Ford to Thanksgiving dinner and he asked if he could bring his brother. How could you do that? Oh, what is the problem? Well, James knows that you're just friends, right? Right. So... Unless you're still into him. On Thanksgiving, we strip the carcass to find the wishbone of gratitude. What is all of this? It's my way of saying thanks. You know, with my mom away visiting Antonio and Jamie, it would have been kind of lonely in my apartment. Well, I'm glad you're here, but come on. Champagne, flowers all tied up with pretty bows. Well, I was hoping Layla would surprise me, but she's working, so... I'm sorry. What do you do? And then there's this. Yeah, and what's that? That box Eli Clark left behind. You need to open it. It's a day to treat your worst enemy like a friend. We've won! <laughs> I would have come over here right away, but I had another commitment. I was the Grand Marshal of the Thanksgiving Day Parade. And what is it that we have won exactly? Roxy has booted Echo out for non-payment. <laughs> it's over. We have seen the last of Echo de Savoy. Oh, that turkey smells divine. When do we eat? A day to welcome the less fortunate 
expecting nothing in return. So, what did you bring us here? Oh, well, it's Thanksgiving. I didn't want to come empty-handed. <laughs> May I take this from you? Oh, and Master Salinger, there's a Z-Box set up in the living room. Mr. Buchanan thought you might like to play. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Buchanan. Yeah. It's really nice of you to think of Nate. Sure. You know, I was hoping that you would wear that necklace that I sent you. I'm sorry. I can't accept it. It's much too extravagant. Inez, is that the real reason? Hey. Hi. Oh! I thought it was just going to be family today. Don't tell me Nate's here, too. It's a day of forgiveness. Hey, you. Hi. Oh, hi. Can you stay for dinner? Come on in. Um, I'm going to Dan's later, but oh. I could stay a little if you want. Okay. I just stopped by to uh, see if your mom could help me divorce my phony, lying, fake parents. Oh. Well, you're going to have to pry my parents apart. They're so lovey-dovey these days, it's almost sickening. But most of all, Thanksgiving is about love. Care to explain this? Love. It's all you need. <laughs> Which I'm proud to say is something that we, we Brits gave you. Yes, you gave us the Beatles. Thank you so much. But love is all you need. Never. Please, did Joey call? Oh, why, yes. Yes, he did. It's going to be a wonderful Thanksgiving. Master Joseph is on his way home. Dorian, my goodness. I guess we're dressing for dinner, huh? Oh, no, no. Anything you feel comfortable in. Well, I could stay in this robe for the rest of my life. <laughs> but I guess I'll go pretty myself up. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. What's going on? As you discovered, Roxy threw Echo out. And so... And so... <laughs> chuckles! begged you to let her move in here with you? Oh, I can just hear her now. I'm homeless. Help me. Help me. Yep, that's about the size of it. Oh, I cannot tell you how angry I am. Vicky, I know I can help you. You see, I'm sure something is going on between Echo and Clint. We just need to find out about Rex. What about me? I think I'm going to tell the cook to warm up the tart. Here, um, let me show you where the kitchen is. It gets to be a real maze back there. I certainly hope that you will be polite to our guests. Oh, of, of course. I was just a surprise. I think it's wonderful that you had invited Inez here. Was it necessary to invite Nate? Remember what Asa said. Keep your friends close. Yeah, and your enemies closer. I know. I'm trying. Do you have to quote Asa? Asa was a good judge of character, and he loved you. I, yeah, I, thank you. Still... I bet he would tell you to take a page out of his book, too. What do you mean? You're not worried about your husband and that assistant of his? Are you sure Langston cleared this with Star? I mean, I really think she's on the scene. Don't worry. I'll smooth it over for you. You're not invited. Ooh, whoa, not invited what? Hey, whoa, whoa, I'm your own man, you know? I raised you, me, myself, Eddie. You mean you're not gonna give your old man bird on Thanksgiving? Huh? What? Probably maybe I should just stay No, here. you're coming with me. Bye, Eddie. <laughs> hey, uh, Dad, uh, I hear that they do a great bird down at the diner. A diner? By myself? Thanksgiving? Oh. 
unacceptable. I am not into James, Langston. So, then what about the other night, hmm? The other night, he made me feel better for a while, okay? Until Hope woke up and I came crashing back into reality. Okay, I know that this sounds harsh, but Cole's in jail and, and you're not. You and Hope can't stop living your lives. You know, Marty's gonna wanna see Hope for Thanksgiving, so I'll just go for that. Start, you can't stop having fun just because you feel guilty about Cole. Where'd you get this? My friends at the courthouse thought I might be interested to know what my husband was up to. Well, that's illegal, isn't it? You can't just violate someone's privacy in that way. Oh, but you can file a restraining order against Marty Saybrook? This has nothing to do with me, but Star signed it. Star knowingly signed a document forbidding Cole's mother from seeing his daughter? That's right. I'm gonna call Star, see what she says.